All right, it is the legend and the one and only coaster Clint Novak. Yay! Down here checking out the Cheetah Hunt construction in Bush Gardens, Tampa Bay, yet again. Another fabulous update here. And uh, what do you think? You haven't been down here in a while. Uh, you know, a lot has definitely changed. You're starting to see some theme work go into it. Obviously, all the track is being erected. Last time I was here, it was just arriving. <laughs> you said <And> erected. <laughs> Sorry, uh, it was uh, growing a steely? I don't know. What do you want me to say? I don't understand. <laughs> But uh, yeah, it's definitely, I mean, that tower is a lot higher and a lot bigger than I thought it was, you know? Yeah, it's a, going up too, very, very steep, going up the hundred or so feet of the tower. Then you can start to see some theming going in, like right here after the station. You're going to launch through buildings like this and buildings like that before you go into this big, massive, sweeping fan turn. And look how, look how steep that is too, going down into the trench. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be I don't know if you can catch maneuver. this or not, but the trench, they've already started the actual theming of the uh, brickwork yeah. uh, along the uh, trench walls there. You can see it's, you know, like the, the sandstone brick or whatever they're yeah. trying to, Arabian like brick. A, an awesome process. I'm gonna walk this way to try and get a shot of what's going on in the trench right now, which probably isn't too much, but it's um, very impressive. A lot more, they've only got like one small section of track really left to work with where it dives down after the tower, as you can see, the tower's not completed. It's got to go like, it's not much before they have all the track on the ride completed, pretty much. And um, yeah, obviously a lot of people have already heard that uh, it, there's a good possibility that the ride is going over the sky ride. That's where the other half of the coaster is yes. ended. So basically you're going down the, uh, el the big uh, turnaround element into a ditch under the train and up into that sky ride. And, uh, at this point, there's not much going on with steel construction. With the, uh, I think there might be an issue with the sky ride being in the way or something. Yeah, we'll get over there later in a little bit to just point that out, but it looks like it's going to run right into it. Yeah, but uh, as you can see, there's no cranes on site. There's no steel erection going on anymore. So no. obviously there's uh, a low in the whole... process. A lot of stuff going on, but not uh, the coaster looks like it's almost almost done. We, we rode the train earlier. Got some really great shots of the... Uh, the construction of the old Rhino Rally area. You get this one, this one turn's gonna go right under a waterfall rock and it just looks so, so cool. All right, but we're gonna, we're gonna check in later on, maybe down near where the turnabout of the Rhino Rally area is. <laughs> hey, if you look in there, you can see uh, the theming, like the uh, yeah. Arab windows and stuff like that going on the scaffolding there mm -hmm. as a turn there. Sound like a huge fart. Yes, we've, uh, by the way, for our YouTube li uh, viewers, we've waited all day right here in this spot to see a cement truck come out, just so we can capture it for you guys. Yes, we know you like roller coasters, but you're real fans of cement trucks. This and their mixing ability. This particular one is a Mack truck. Uh, it's out of Florida. The company is uh, Florida Rock. And uh, the particular model brand is F3928642139. Great, nine, great eight. year for cement trucks. Yes. It really was. You look at the going there, man. Fantastic year for cement trucks. Look at the theming, like because you're going to shoot right out of there. You can tell they're building like structures to theme it up with. Yeah, so you're going through all the cinder blocks and stuff for the different. Uh, yeah. Different things you can go through. It's going to be so neat. All right, checking in for more of the Rhino Rally section. Well, not quite the Rhino Rally, just on the fringe of the Rhino Rally section. You know what really sucks? What really sucks? There's cute girls walking by. We're nerding out with a video camera, looking through a hole in a fence. Yep. Yeah. These are true. And I'm wearing are, a beanie. These are facts. <laughs> the chances of getting booty, very slim. Yep. Yep. All right. <laughs> anyway, uh, back to roller coasters. All right. Well... It's, it's going to come, uh, we talked about this last time on the video, but now this time I'm going to actually get it right. It's going to come this way, out of this trench here, climb up, and then go into that crazy looking inversion there before diving back into the caverns. Then it's going to come off a third launch, the third and final launch, of a crazy looking airtime hill here, and then head this way, which is a cutback move into the sun, and back out that way. Now also, well, a lot of talk's been on the internet about the sky ride and how this looks like it's gonna go right over it. Yeah, if we walk over this way, I wonder if we can get a better view of this, but 
Yeah, you're right. I mean, what we're thinking right now is there's absolutely no steel construction going on anymore, and they still have a good section of the track. And by this look right here, it looks like it's going to hit the skyline, and that's why yeah. it stopped, or the sky ride. It, it looks very, very close. So at this point, I mean, I would imagine that uh, uh, the Adina crew has uh, contacted him in and saying, hey, <laughs> we got a problem. And, uh, you know, they're probably working on other sections of the ride right now. Well, they come up with some type of solution for that problem if it is indeed yeah. a problem. So you can see another good view right here. If it is, of course, when a sky ride would be running, this, the cars would have it sink down much lower. Yeah. Yeah, but, uh, you know, I, I mean, just something I was thinking of off the top of my head is uh, if they could possibly put guide wheels on the bottom of the coaster track that would allow the coaster just to connect with the sky ride, but it wouldn't allow the sky ride to, uh, to uh, bump up, you know, go, you know, affect the coaster or the coaster to affect the sky ride in any way. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just say it's not an issue. Maybe it's just, um, maybe they have to take down the cables to put another piece in or something like that. So I'm going to guess not really a problem. But time will tell. Ride looks good though. Ride looks really, really good. So we get some more angles over here. Oh yeah. Definitely have a great shot here of the. Uh... Yes. It's gonna be so cool. And this hill here is gonna be coming off a launch, so you are gonna get some just insane, crazy airtime off of that thing. <laughs> Yeah, I think the part I'm going to look forward to the most is the low-lying uh, trenches and stuff they're going to go flying through. When we were on the train ride, we really got to see the parts that are interacting with the old Rhino oh, Rally area. Oh, man. They left some of the bridge elements there. They even put one of the cars. Uh, well, actually, you can see it right through there. You can see the rescue car uh, kind of on that uh, platform there where it looks like it's stranded over the broken bridge. So it's obviously still going to interact with the old Rhino Rally areas. And, yeah, uh, we put a picture up on the Facebook page of going under like this waterfall rock element that just looks crazy. But, I mean, I, that's, to me, that's going to be the big highlight of this ride is, you know, going through all the trenches. And the fact that it's really long. It's a very, very long ride. We might check in one more time from the Rhino Rally area. See you there. All right, right next to the Rhino Rally entrance, we're gonna be doing our last little check-in for the awesome, awesome, awesome-looking Cheetah Hunt roller coaster. You know, if you stand right here, you can actually look straight through, and you can see from where one track ends and the other track yes. ends. So that's all they have to do to complete the track is that little bit yes, there. Yes, go from there over the sky ride down into a trench, and then from the trench connected to the tower, and they are done with their roller coaster install. So you got a whole lot of work that needs to be done on making the area look beautiful again and mm -hmm. and theming it up, but uh, and when we were on the train ride, I don't I don't remember if we talked about this or not, but uh, they also had all of the uh, uh, magnets uh, or uh, launch fins on the uh, back part of the ride as well. Yeah, we can see them there over here. Uh, yeah, we can see the trim brake. Oops, sorry. Oh, no, that's a launch. That's no, the launch is white. Those are like uh, the stops. The, 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 roll back. Those are the oh, these are anti rollbacks? Okay. Yeah, because you can see they can suck back into the track. You can see gotcha. The, the, on them. the white ones, which you can also you can see from right here if you look all the way back in there. I don't know if I'm tall enough. I have no idea where I'm looking. Right straight through. Go straight. Zoom in. John, I'm just going to give you the camera. Oh, wow. You're much taller. Yeah, let me give you your soda. Okay. I do through. need my soda. And uh, I don't know what I'm doing here. Zoom. Okay. So, uh,. Uh, where am I looking now? Down. Zoom in. Those are the metal ones. Those are the brake fins. And then if we go right there, you can see the white ones starting somewhere in there. Oh, no, wait. Hold on. I don't know if this is going to work or not. <laughs> there. You can see white ones right there. So, you want this back? I want that back. There you go. Here, you enjoy my soda. No. Oh, this is just going crazy camera now. <laughs> We're super zoomed in. Oh, hope you guys didn't get sick watching that last part. But you got to see white brake fit. You did. Now, coming off that launch, just to give you an idea of how crazy this airtime hill is going to be. That's right after our launch. So that's a pretty, a pretty pointy hill. If you know, you've been on a lot of roller coasters. You know, you're going to go flying out of your seat on that bad boy. I don't know if you can see through all this brush too, with this crazy S turn that you're going to do in this mm -hmm. valley here. 
Oh yeah. Very low to the ground. In a canyon. It'd be, it'd be interesting too, because this is where some of the water elements were for uh, Rhino Rally. It'd be fun to see if they use any of these water elements. I hope so, or at least at least fill it back up with water to make it a, you know a prettier area. But I mean, but you, cheetahs really don't run on water. They do not. Do they hunt on water? I don't think so. All right. <laughs> anyway, I mean, you could tell from us babbling for the last ten minutes. It's a very awesome looking project, large scale project. Lots of stuff to look forward to. Hopefully open up sometime in May or June or whenever they're done. All right. Well, if you enjoyed this, be sure to check out coastercrew.net and our famous podcast, In The Loop. We record every Monday night at 8 o'clock on Blog Talk Radio and Ustream. And also download it on iTunes. If you don't want to listen live, that's plenty. Most people don't. They just find us on iTunes. Go to the podcast directory in iTunes. Search for In The Loop Rebooted. And you will get us talking every week about roller coasters. And whatever the hell we feel strip like, clubs. really. Strip calling strippers <laughs> to um, movie reviews to, you know, uh, booty loving was a topic last week. So uh, <laughs> check it out in the loop, Monday nights at 8. Subscribe to the YouTube and the Facebook page at facebook.com slash coastercrew. Check it out. Peace. <laughs>